Yeah, I'm not a fan of relish. It tastes funny. Well, the thing is with those with relish is, did you since you now that you like it, did did you back when you didn't like it, did you like pickles? Oh yeah. See, that's the funny thing, you know, because it's just in a different form unless it has like some added stuff. I think there's something added that certain relishes like add. Like I'm imagining the flavor in me right now. You're fighting a crow, by ah. the way. Um, I'm imagining the flavor of the relish that I didn't like, and it was like a, a sweet. It was like a sweet, sweet pickle, relish. and I'm not a yeah. I'm not a fan of sweet pickle yeah. sweet sweet relish, and that was like most of the kind of relish that they put on hot dogs and things. And like the sweet that I want on my hot dog is from the sugar filled tomato paste. Okay. And a projector. My name is Alex Cooper. I'm um, Wyatt. Hey, Wyatt. Hey, guys. Um, so once again, in our adventures through uh, Earthbound, Mother Two, still trying to beat the boss of the sharks. I can't do it. I'm gonna have Wyatt level us up here. Yep, happy to do it. And we're gonna talk about relish. How much I relish relish. Oh no. Or lack thereof. Wait, so you don't like relish now? Yeah, I do like it. You don't I, like sweet relish? I don't like sweet relish. Yeah. I do like relish, but I don't relish it. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I need to make that joke one more time tonight. That's all. I, I just need to. It's the only joke that relish has. <laughs> it's true. But the reason why I have to do it three times is the rule of three, you know, in comedy. It, if you do it more than three times, then people will throw a chair at your well, face. Well, the first two times, people are like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I get what you're doing there. And then the third time, suddenly it, it becomes funny. Oh. Unless you're Family Guy, after that it just becomes awkward. Oh. Then Family Guy has found like, this beautiful balance of just pushing the envelope to this point of ridiculousness where you can't help but laugh. Huh. At least I can't. Okay. I mean, there's some really awful things that they do in that show. And when Peter's just sitting there with a forklift trying to lift a, uh, a beached whale. Yeah. And he's, like, tearing it apart because he, he just keeps trying over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. The frame doesn't change. The animation doesn't change, except for the fact that the beached whale is being torn apart. Yeah. Five minutes of that, it's funny. What what in, in reality would be horrifying. Absolutely, but that's you know, that that's just family guy. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there, think... there's there's something very uh, I don't know. Some, there's something about it. Like one of the scenes that really cracked me up. I feel kinda bad laughing at Family Guy now, but um, there was one <laughs> That's of the what they're looking for though. I I don't know. Um, one of the scenes that uh, where, where just everyone started vomiting, and that was the whole joke. Oh, yeah. And they tried to stop, but they couldn't, and... Yeah, they took... Was... Yeah, they drank that one stuff. Yeah, and, and I found it funny, and I still kind of laugh, but... There really... I mean... There isn't a whole lot there. There really isn't. They're really seriously just banking on the fact that you are still seeing the same thing. It's yeah. not changing, and it's only getting more ridiculous. Yeah. And I feel like that's what the show is entirely about. Like, we're still watching Family Guy, it's the same thing, and it's only just getting more ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. It's sort of the, like, they want to milk things. And when people aren't paying attention, they have a special episode where uh, Brian and Stewie go back in time with their time machine. Oh. Okay. That's like their go-to. Oh, alright. Yeah, find those crows. Yep, just sneak up on one successfully. Was that not great? Is it red? Well, I think there's one where it's like if you actually come from the back, it, it gives you the advantage. Oh, we're supposed to be green. I think, yeah. Right. Yeah. But they're so fast. Those 
quick witted glass wearing, bow tie wearing. They just came from the men's warehouse. And they like the way they look. They guarantee it. I like the way they look. I do too. I like the way you look. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. What happened? I have too much you have stuff too many in my knapsack. What, what, what are we replacing? What, what with what? We're going to replace a cookie with a cookie. Dude, that cookie was like my favorite cookie. Choose another cookie. It's going to live forever in your no, memory. No, you choose... Damn it, Wyatt. I liked that cookie. All those cookies are the same. They are not the same. Well, except you for threw the ones... away the white macadamia nuts. The oh. white chocolate macadamia nuts. I thought they were all like that. No, 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 no. no. I can't they... remember how to eat a cookie. There, there's another one in there that's like the peanut butter crisp. Oh, that sounds good. That does sound good. I'm glad you didn't throw that one away. Otherwise, I'd have to kill you. That was close. But how would you know? You're not paying attention, are you? No, not to cookies. <laughs> I just reach I know, and I know grab they only, one and shove it in my mouth. Yeah, they all say cookie, but you have to pay very close attention to those pixels. It's like you still, even though it's all in front of your eyes, you still have to use your imagination. Like the rest of this game? <laughs> yes. 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 So tell me, do you like the way these trees look? Better or less than the trees in Link to the Past looked? Um, I can't really, I can't really picture how they looked. With the power of Google, you can. Okay. I see two different trees so far. Young and old. Sapling and old. Remember these things? Oldling. See, those look more like animals to me. <laughs> they look like legs. They're so geometric, you know? Yeah. These ones look at the roots. Yeah. They're much more, much less, uh... Geometric, they're, they're look much more like roots look, sort of. It looks more like tree too. Yeah. It looks more like tree. So I'm gonna go with these tree, this tree here, this one right here. Hey, look, they got a different kind there too. They have like three different kinds. We got bush, we got tree, we got big tree. We got half a tree over there. Did you see that? No. Where? Look at that. Look at that. Where? They just cut right, right above you. Oh, to make the bush, they, they, just, just, they just cut, cut off the bottom of the tree. tree. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Kind of like that fun little uh, <laughs> mind-blowing moment when you realize that the bushes and the old Super <laughs> Mario Brothers were the same as the clouds. Yeah. yeah when, uh, That's great. Speaking of Link to the Past... Yes? You've played it, yes? Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> All those early Zelda games blend together for me. Mm. It's because I think Ocarina was the first Zelda game I played. Yeah, mine too. And it wasn't until I got into emulators and things like that that I went back and played some of the older ones. Um... Actually, I probably didn't play Link to the... No, I, yeah, you're right. It wasn't until I picked up an emulator. And then I actually took the game seriously when I uh, purchased it for myself on uh, on the Wii's virtual console. Oh. So, that's not to say that we're young here, guys. It's just we never played the earlier Zeldas. It's like I, if I had... It, it's like if my older sister were in, more into video games, I feel like then she could have introduced me to them. Mm. But she didn't really take interest in them until I did. I I was I was the one that that would introduce her to things. But uh, she's played video games. Oh, a little, a little bit. Mm. I remember one time when uh, I was playing Shadows of the Empire. And I got to the oh, uh, such a good game. <laughs> I got to that first. Uh, Does not age well. <laughs> no. Go on. I'm sorry. I got to the ATST boss, um, mm. and, uh, and and she was there cheering me on. It was great. Great bonding moment. My sister always liked uh, watching me play, and then she would say, "Like I want to, I want to ride the horse." Like, okay, you can ride the horse. 
And that's when I would make my sandwich. <laughs> and I came back, I'm like, alright, I want to do something now. Are we leveled up yet? No. You've... Have you killed everything? I'm hoping they respawn. There we go. But yeah, no, uh, Ocarina of Time was my first uh, Zelda experience. Um, and that really did kind of blow my mind as a kid. I mean, I grew up as a Sega kid. You know, I didn't have any Nintendo yeah. growing up. Even though my first gaming memory ever was the original NES. Mm, okay. um, I remember playing um, Super Mario. My first gaming memory ever was Super Mario Brothers World 1-1. Okay. And just getting to World 1-3 was really exciting for me. 1-2 was pretty hard for me as a little, 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 little kid. Like, seriously, I was, what, 3, 4? Wow. Okay. I mean, my cousin had it, and uh, she and her neighbor played it. So I just picked it up and like, this game, you know, she's just playing it. I really enjoyed it. Um, then when she showed me the trick on uh, how you can jump up above the uh, the level and run along mm. the uh, the top of the level and get yeah. to the hidden paths, oh man, that that's when it opened my eyes to what video games could do. <laughs> and right there, like this little four year old kid going, "This is awesome." Also, a boy in his blob. I love that game. I don't know that game. It, you're, you're just, it's what it sounds like. You're a kid, and he has a blob, and you throw candy to, and that points in the direction where the blob goes. And depending on what kind of candy you give it, it has like, different attributes. And it's a platformer, so you just kind of use your blob to help yourself go across these different levels. I guess. Okay. It's been a very long time. Anyway. The next thing I got was the Sega Master System, and that was a lot of fun for me. I enjoyed those old games. There's this one great game, uh, Time Crisis. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Is it the rail shooter? No. What am I thinking? I mean, it's kind of a rail shooter. I mean, okay. you're a, you're not in an airplane or anything. You're just a soldier. Okay with like these weird cannons and you're traveling through time and okay. yeah the, the camera has you travel through these pre-dedicated paths um, and like a vertical or horizontal shooter you know it, what was nice is that you could actually look in the you would actually shoot in the direction that you're looking okay wait no no that's not true you always face for uh, up or you always face the direction that um, the camera was going Ah. So if the, um, the so if the rail camera was moving up, you always faced up, and that's how you that's the angle that you shot. Okay. But then after a boss, it would change the angle and you'd go right. Mm -hmm. um, another great game was uh, Alien Syndrome, and that was very much like Zelda. An early Zelda. An RPG? Not an RPG. And Zelda was never really an RPG. It was um, an adventure dungeon crawling game. Okay. But um, imagine just like the old school Legend of Zelda, like just like the first one, um, but in space. That was <laughs> Alien Syndrome. Okay. Um, and instead of Triforces, you were looking for um, people. Okay. And the aliens looked oddly a lot like the aliens from the Alien movie series. Oh, but um, but they officially didn't. They officially were not part of that continuity. Okay. But uh, so I got the master system when my cousin got the Genesis, and a year later, I was surprised with the Sega Genesis. Still the first generation. It's the one that's sitting there on uh, the bookshelf right there. Mm -hmm. And it came with Sonic One, and they also got me Sonic Two. And that was the beginning of my, what I would say, my true gaming life. Sonic the Hedgehog. No, I don't think I got Sonic 2. I had Sonic the Hedgehog. And like two others. One was like Toki. And the other one was like uh, 
Galaxy Force 2. I don't know any of those. You will be introduced, my friend. You okay. will be introduced. We'll have a Sega day. All right. Or even if you don't get to play, you might even see me play someday in the okay. future. Yeah. We have one... Uh, okay. Um, I just need but, one experience point to get the next level. Oh, fantastic. But yeah, I just grew up... As, it's a long story short, I grew up as a Sega Sonic kid, and... I remember when I got my N64, it was so exciting because it was Christmas morning and I had this thing where I had to open up the small presents first and I would move up to the big ones. Okay. And so I opened up one package and it happened to be an N64 game. For a second it didn't register to it didn't register to me. At first I was like, oh cool, bomber man. And I went, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And I looked up at mom from my mom and dad went. Oh, wait, you weren't supposed to open that first. And I went, where is it? <laughs> where is it? And they went, uh, I'm like, I'm assuming it's that one, because it's the biggest one under the tree with my name on it. <laughs> but still, because I wanted to be so dedicated to my pattern, you kept it. I kept it up. And uh, I, right. I, I found uh, the other game, which was Wave Race. And Aww. then I picked up the big box, and I was basically the equivalent of, even though I knew it was coming now, I was the, the equivalent of the, the N64 kid, that video online where he's just like, I did it, I did it, screaming it at the top of his lungs. I mean, I was so excited. All right. Um, until next time, folks. Um, hopefully we might have enough experience to beat the final boss. Thanks for watching. <laughs>